All right, now we have the next part of your, uh, your lesson today, because your lesson's in two parts. Now this part is very easy. Okay, in this part, we're talking about fraction equations. Remember we have these two equations, F times of equals is, for fraction times of equals is, and D times of equals is. Well, we're working with those just the same as we always do. You can use the bubbles that you use for percents in order to solve these problems, but you don't have to. But sometimes those bubbles will help to make something clearer. So I'm just gonna show you three little examples um, of how you could use those bubbles. And the last example I think will show you how, um, how it makes it a little clearer. Okay, so first one, uh, well, first of all, when you do the bubbles, remember that your starting bubble with percents, is, it, um, it represents 100%, your original thing. Well, here it represents the number one. And you'll either have a divided bubble or you'll have the one that's greater, okay? Because either you'll have a fraction that is smaller than one, which means that you divide it into two parts, or you'll have a mixed number greater than one, meaning you go to the double bubble, or you'll have a percent greater, excuse me, a decimal, but greater than one, and you'll use the double, or you'll have a decimal smaller than one, and you'll use the divided. Okay, so let's look at a problem. Lopez used a five iron but the ball covered only four fifths of the required distance. A five iron is a type of golfing thing, okay, club. But the ball covered only four fifths of the required distance. If she hit the ball 112 yards, what was the required distance? So we see that our of number is the distance, the required distance, okay? Now it only went four fifths of this. So we have to use this particular one because it's, uh, our fraction is less than one. So four fifths is what, okay? So that means the other distance would be one fifth. Now we are looking for this number, the required distance. What do we know? Well, we know it went four fifths of the required distance. So we know it went 112 yards and we know that that 112 yards would be four fifths of this. So we set it up with our fraction problem, fraction four fifths times of, which would be D, is 112. Multiply by the reciprocal. Let's see, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see if this divides evenly. Yes, it does. Okay, so that would be 228. Okay, so the required distance, 28 times 5, would be 140 yards. Quick mental check, this number should be bigger than this number, and yes it is, so we did our problem correctly. Okay, let's try another one. Maccabee guessed that the total was 30.24, but this was 7.2 times the total. What was the total? Okay. Okay. So here I see that the total, or excuse me, his guess was 30.24, but this was 7.2 times the total. 7.2, that decimal is greater than one. So that means I'm going to use this bubble. So my decimal is um, 30.24, okay? So um, by the way, this is my is number. I haven't kept that quite clear, sorry about that. So that's my is number. So it's 30.24, that's 7.2 times what the total should be. So I'm gonna put that into my equation. 7.2 is my decimal times what the total is would give me 30.24. Divide both sides by 7.2 and you get that your total is 4.2.
okay? Is this less than 30.24? Yes, it is. So I know that I probably got the right answer or I'm within the right answer. Okay, let's try one more and then we'll go to your practice. Okay, so for this one, it says three fourths of the tickets had been sold and there were 420 tickets left. How many tickets were printed? Okay, so this is where we really do kind of need the bubble just to help us um, to see what we're working with. Okay, so first of all, I want you to think about it. Excuse me. <coughs> Which bubble should I be using? My divided or my double? Three-fourths is the fraction we're given. Well, three-fourths is less than one, so we want to use the divided bubble. Okay? So it says three-fourths of the tickets have been sold. So that's one of my fractions. That means the other fraction will be one-fourth of the tickets. There were 420 tickets left. Okay, if three-fourths have been sold, then one-fourth are what are left. So that means that 420 tickets, that would be one-fourth, okay? Not the three-fourths. That 420 goes with the one-fourth, not the three-fourths, because it goes with the ones that are left, the ones that have not been sold. Do I know how many have been sold? No, not yet. I can't find that out until I find out how many tickets were printed. So of the total tickets, 420 are left, and that goes with the fraction one-fourth. It's important for you to realize that because if you put it with the fraction three-fourths, you're going to get the wrong number for the total number of tickets because we have to use one-fourth in our equation. So fraction times the tickets equals 420. If I use three-fourths as my fraction, I would get a different number, and that wouldn't be the accurate number because 420 goes with one-fourth. So I multiply by the reciprocal, which would be four over one. So I just multiply this side by four. So my tickets would be 1,680, okay? All right, I want you to pause now and do your practice. Okay, letter A, you should have gotten as your three consecutive integers, negative 16, negative 14, and negative 12. Letter B, you should have gotten 216 yards. And letter C, you should have gotten 4,480 tickets. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, but that's it for now. See you in our next lesson. Bye.